Hey guys, today we've got a Toro Time Cutter SS4225. And if you're watching this video, it's probably because yours won't start. I won't walk you through all of the basic troubleshooting steps. I assume you will be able to check and replace your solenoid if necessary, in addition to your battery, charge it, change it, whatever you need to do. Today we're gonna to talk about this brake controller that's that these engineers lovingly decided to bestow on us. And this piece of crap costs about 125 bucks, 100 bucks if you're lucky and is basically guaranteed to fail if you're watching those YouTube videos. Now before I begin, I do want to point out that anything you do as a result of watching this video is entirely your responsibility and your own risk. In other words, proceed at your own risk. I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm not recommending anything. I'm simply showing you how I basically bypassed that unit on my own mower so I can get my lawn mower so my kids can play outside on Memorial Day. Now, you do whatever you want, but I'm just showing you how I did it. By bypassing that unit, you disable or you remove the functionality of the parking brake. You can see those rods over there. Those rods were connected to this, which engage the parking brake when the arms are pulled in the outward position. It also disengages or disables all of these safety features. Safety features such as the little switches that are inside each of the handles in addition to the control switch for the blades and the butt sensor. So. Be mindful of the fact that you now no longer have that safety equipment if you decide to pre proceed with the with what I've done here. Another video on YouTube basically showed you how to cut the green and black wires and splice them together so you can get the starter solenoid working again. Uh, unfortunately, I have a newer model which also has the um, fuel uh, fuel shutoff solenoid, so I need to do that as well. And today, I'm basically going to show you how to do that. Now instead of cutting these wires, what I did is I used some solid core 18 gauge thermostat wire. You can buy this at basically any hardware store. It comes in a little roll with the brown sleeve like this and the wires are actually inside. So you just cut a piece off, pull the wire out, and you're good to go. All right, so I trim a little section of say about three, three eighths of an inch, maybe half an inch off of each end of this wire and I basically shoved them inside the terminal holes. Now we're shorting out the black and the green wire and that's going to be for our starter solenoid so we can actually start the engine. And the next one's going to be our pink wire which goes to the ignition switch and our yellow wire which goes to the um, the fuel, uh, fuel shutoff solenoid. And you want to short them out in this manner. And I'll keep the phone here steady just so you can take notes on exactly what you're going to need to do. Once you've done this, you can Turn the key and you'll hear the fuel shut off solenoid disengage. And I'll keep going back and forth a little bit. You can hear that clicking. So we know that part works. If you don't hear that click, you've done something wrong. And the next part, of course, is starting your mower. Of course, I will remind you that bypassing this unit does come with the disabling of these safety features and proceed at your own risk. And of course, you no longer have a parking brake, so when you pull the handles out, if you're on an incline, this thing will probably roll backwards, so you'll want to be extremely careful where it is when you get off. In addition to that, it will continue running if you get off, so if you do something stupid like go up an incline and you fall off, God forbid, this thing will keep on moving. So just something to keep in mind. I will probably be replacing this thing. At some point in the future, but today I just need to mow the lawn, so I'm going to be extra careful. I'm going to replace this as I have time. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was helpful to you in some way. And be safe. Thanks. Bye.